Notice that Mark introduces his account saying, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I want to highlight a Greco-Roman meaning behind the word gospel. If we were to go into Mark 1 and look at the Greek word that we have translated as gospel, it's euangelion, and it means good news. This good news has a specific context in some ancient Greek and Roman writings. When Greece defeated Persia, Greece sent messengers to take the gospel throughout the country. In other words, they were sharing good news, and the specific good news was a military victory. Consider another example. A stone inscription dating to 9 BC talks about the birth of Caesar Augustus, who had died five years previously, and in Roman belief, was now a god. It says, The birthday of Augustus, who has become god, has been for the whole world the beginning of the gospel concerning him. In this case, the gospel, or the good news being celebrated, was that Augustus had been born. It appears that some Romans believed that Augustus' birth had led to a new era of peace. In their minds, Augustus was a savior. Seeing how the Greeks and Romans used the word gospel perhaps gives us a helpful framework of what Mark might have intended for his Greco-Roman audience to hear. It's like Mark is saying, contrary to the so-called gospels you may have heard about, Jesus is the true king who came to proclaim peace. Mark contrasts the idea of good news of military victory or a leader such as Augustus with the good news of victory over Satan and death brought about by a real God, Jesus. The gospel, the good news is that Jesus has come and he has conquered. He is our king and he is bringing his kingdom to earth. To see more videos like this one, simply search Seeking Jesus.